On game night, winning is everything. But life's big wins happen off the field. When you win a heart. When you win their trust. When you win their respect. First Bank's community banking is perfect for life's big wins because of what we're big on. You. Make us part of your team for life's biggest wins. Still coming in the stadium. Big queue at the box office tonight too. People are coming in a bit late, but uh, they'll be in here in time to see the game. Um, so yeah, if you are close by, I recommend you come down and see the game in person. It's going to be tremendous tonight. The weather is great. No chance of a rain out, and uh, a nice warm summer's evening here in Chattanooga. As always, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors and our production partners, Underground, for their support. Volkswagen of Chattanooga is the official title sponsor for Chattanooga Football Club. We want to thank Volkswagen of Chattanooga, the proud sponsors of the Chattahooligans since 2009. We'd also like to thank CHI Memorial, who takes such good care of our players down there, providing great support with the athletic trainers. We've got several people kind of just uh, kind of tense, Simon, at the tailgate. If, if I had to put it in a word, I would say tense. Lots of ties so far this season, and, and we're looking for that that first meaningful win at home, and we're looking for the breakout game, and uh, hopefully that comes today. I do hope so, because uh, a lot of people want to see Chattanooga do well, like I did last season, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of built-up tension. Wait to see, uh, you know, one of those winning games. So, um, yeah, all I say is sit tight in your seats and uh, stay with us. As always, make sure to reach out to us. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see where there are Chattahooligans or you know people who are watching in different countries, different states. And yeah, just let us know where you're watching from and who you're cheering for tonight. And uh, yeah, we'd love to interact with you on the YouTube stream. Remember, you can switch back and forth between the multiple camera angles. And yeah, check out different replays. You can always stop, rewind, and then catch back up to live play later on if you would like. Make sure to check out the Chattahooligan Live Facebook pages for video highlights after the game and a specific interview with maybe goal scorers or mm -hmm. Coach Bill Elliott. Sure. It's going to be a good night for soccer. We got uh, most of the, the crowd into the stadium. They're announcing the players. We're going to have the playing of the national anthem in just a moment. Simon and I will mm -hmm. step away, but it's exciting, Simon. Oh, yeah. Always a great atmosphere in the stadium. Uh, it's one of those things that the electricity builds up and it just feels like something's going to happen. It's just that good feeling about being home at Finley Stadium with a big crowd. And, uh, yeah, this is what soccer is really all about. Um, some of you remember we talked to uh, Stephen from the Soccer Tour yeah, on Thursday yeah. night. Guess what? He came back. He cancelled his plans and came back to Chattanooga for tonight's game. He's here again. Yeah, it's, he had such a good time that he decided to stay for another game. He it's did. kind of that contagious feeling right, that, uh, right. that the Chattanooga Football Club has over the past couple years. You know, the, the Chattahooligans mm -hmm. have seemed to multiply and Section right. 109 has been more and more full over the years. Yep. And uh, it, it's a good feeling. It is. So Stephen said and saw some more of the tailgating and uh, saw the atmosphere. And he really enjoyed it. So uh, hi to Stephen Berners-Coney. Hope you're enjoying the game. And uh, that's how Chattanooga is. All right, Simon, I think we got a I the chorus stepping on for the National Anthem. Ready. Let's step away for one moment. Give us one moment. So, everybody's getting ready for the game, and uh, all the teams are going into their huddle for the pre match chat and a few photographs, and uh, probably a few selfies too. But, um, but yeah, everybody's getting ready for the game. People taking their seats. People still coming in trying to get settled in, so. Uh, 
atmosphere is building at Finley Stadium. Um, Kickoff will happen any moment now. And Simon, it looks like we're going to be flipping sides. Nashville will be attacking in the white kit that you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. from left to right, which is usually the side that CFC starts on. But today in the blue kits, we'll be attacking from right to left. If I have to guess, they're going to have the ball to start with. I would think so. This gives a, a slight advantage to, to Nashville because they uh, haven't got the sun on their eyes, which will certainly make a difference to get a scoring chance on a keeper who's blinded by the sunshine. So we've seen that a few times too, where the uh, the low sun in the evening going down over Lookout Mountain can make a difference in the game. Chattanooga players on the field in formation getting ready. It's like Luke Winters getting ready to uh, kick us off in a moment. And uh, good to see Luke up and, up and about after his, uh, the knock he got on Thursday night. He seems to be fighting fit and ready to play again, so that's good. Yeah, Simon, there was quite a few controversial moments in that game against New Orleans, to say the least. Lots Absolutely. of contact in the box, <laughs> lots of contact with players. A couple moments where had players coming together. Uh, I don't think the referee lost control, but like mm -hmm. I said, there were some controversial moments, and uh, maybe the calls went against CFC, mm -hmm. and that's how it happens sometimes. That's I remember over the years we've had quite off. a few good calls. So we are off in the first half of play. Like I said, CFC working from right to left and International working from left to right in the white kits. Yep. You got Bywater and Dunstan trading passes here. Out to DeSchmidt with a good little the dummy. Whitehall. Oh, Whitehall's away. Coming down the wing. Into the box, uh, right to the keeper. Good early pressure, Simon. That's I'm good. really excited to see Whitehall and Winter up top together today. Yes, we absolutely. haven't seen both of them in the lineup for any time at all, I don't think, so no, far this not. Se we've season. And I've been wondering how they're going to combine. Yeah, that's... They both have a similar playing style. Yep. They're both very aggressive strikers. So uh, this should be very entertaining tonight indeed. Yeah, I think, uh, I think you nailed it right there. Both very direct players, I think, will be... Lots of crosses into the box today and uh, lots of movement from Winter mm -hmm. and Whitehall up top. It looks like Antonio is just going to sit in that number 10 role right behind gotcha. them yep. uh, and uh, kind of orchestrate. Uh, you see the International playing around Antonio right there and just overhitting a little bit for a CFC throw. Control the tempo of the games. I think that's something we've gotten away from and that's kind of cost us in the final third, I think. Antonio with the ball here, working on this left-hand side, keeping possession. Schmidt giving him an option. Antonio doing well to keep it. Yeah. A bit of pushing and shoving going on there, but no more you'd expect in a game like this. Yeah, Whitehall well, chasing down. Oh, obstructed in the box, but the referee lets the play go on. Nashville trying to get a little bit of possession here, working it out to the left side. Lots of space out there. Whitehall combining with Winter. His touch just got away from him going towards the corner flag. Able to pick it up here. Jake Lever making a run towards the box, getting it from Winter. Good sliding challenge there. CFC. Kieran Bywater taking it quickly. Chattanooga looking lively tonight, Carlos. They have uh, plenty of energy and they're uh, not uh, backing down. They look like they're very keen to get things moving keep the pressure on and there's the ball with the box and it's oh well saved wow what a save there's simon great like header. i said that's a second cross into the box that's been dangerous the first one from whitehall looking for winter and then that one finding danny whitehall's yeah. head and nearly getting tucked in there but a good save by the goalkeeper absolutely but, uh, second cross is a little bit deeper in the box instead of being towards the keeper they pulled it back across towards the penalty spot let danny whitehall's place to come in again chattanooga again trying to come forward Ball goes out and... Can make him have a good game or, or we're going to see mm -hmm. a couple goals go in the go. Headed back and forth. Jake Young strong there. I'm sorry, that's Hascheck. Maria, Finley and Gardan. So a good, a strong bench too. Hopefully we'll see some of those boys out on the field too tonight. I'm sure they'll get some, some time out there. 
long diagonal there, just over hit over to Schmidt's head by Yehaschek. Nice full throw in. It's number ten, Liam Collins, getting it. Long ball there from Nashville on the left side. A little bit of miscommunication there by Pearson and Bywater. Gives the ball back to Nashville, settling into some possession. Again, this is number 10. Liam Collins just working to keep the rhythm going here for Nashville. Good ball through there. Trying to find that gap. That's a little optimistic. And, uh, and play not so much in the space. And it's it's interesting to, to see the different types of players throughout right. the NPSL and, and just right. the different levels. You know, you, you see, you know, people who like to run in behind. You like to have people like Juan Hernandez, who yeah, just wants the ball at his feet. And here in Bywater, who's very comfortable with it at his feet. Schmidt yeah, with Schmitt another cross. good ball in. People can't hold it, but it's, uh, the defense is there to clean it up. I think that's the third dangerous cross into the box today, Simon. It and, is. Uh, look for it more, is. more of it. I've seen Nashville do one of those yet, Carlos. Yeah. Uh, we saw a lot of those on uh, on Thursday night too, against New Orleans Jesters, and uh, so many just didn't quite connect. But uh, Leo's been coming down that left wing and really taking advantage of that spot, making space, and uh, he's been very dangerous. I think it's only a matter of time before he gets the result out of that uh, long, deep cross he always plays in. Nashville with a little bit of possession here. Whitehall harassing the Nashville defenders, but doing well in the end to switch the point of attack. Going down the left-hand side. Long diagonal here. Played over the top of Jake Young. Oh. Get people into the right spots. Dangerous ball to the back post. Good header away. away. Clear that, that's good. Well done Clear by Pearson there. Yeah, Pitts has played well. Looking forward to seeing him play some more this season. Yep, yeah, it's Oliveira. His shirt tugged a bit by the Nashville player. So a foul given. Back into play quickly. See how high Lever is on that right hand side. I do, yeah. And same thing. Space here, Pearson again. Dunstan inching forward on, from his left back spot. I think we may be a little bit more in, in that 3 5 two shape that we've come accustomed to this season than, than we mm -hmm. thought, Simon. Right. And that may be why Lever's so high up. And, and we've seen Deschmet play in, in this outside wing back role several times, so I wouldn't be surprised. I think that one just creeped out of play. Yeah. Trying to be a little bit more patient. Nashville's been doing the same, to be fair. Early well, stages as we go into the, the ninth minute, the tenth exactly. minute here, actually. Yeah. And uh, yeah, teams just feeling each other out so far. That's normal, yeah. Especially Nashville being a new team, only started up in uh, the fall of last year, so it's their first season. So obviously there's a little bit of a learning curve there. Even with experienced players, you have to learn how the others play and well, how Simon, they respond. Simon, I could have swore there was a Nashville team before. There have been several Nashville teams before, <laughs> um, but Brilliant, can you miss it? Because they seem to keep closing and reopening them again. Yeah, Pearson so. did well there with it, get his body in the way. Shield the defender away, Bywater breaking forward. Oh, and touchdown. Yeah. yeah, clipped on his heels. Yeah. Conductor might be around. He could probably tell the story well, he better knows everything than anybody. Uh, you know, level, so who knows? We'll see if we can track him down. But he's a mystery man, Carlos. You never know when he's going to show up. Yeah. Good cross here. Jordan Dunstan bringing it down on the chest. Good header by Nashville and good control there by the captain. Very nice. Absorbing a little bit of pressure and oh, good, good tackle challenge. there. Very good. Very good. Bywater with a long diagonal looking for Deschmet. That was number 25, Andrew Chamberlain doing well to get back. Headed away, you see him with the ball here again, number 25. 
And Simon, we have a number two out there for Nashville this evening, but I don't have a number two on my roster. So as soon as we get that name, I will stop calling him number two. But for now, <laughs> the left striker for Nashville out there has uh, is doing well, checking in. And, and he starts in a wide position and then right. checks in right. to receive the ball several times. And, and that'll be something for, for Jake Young and, and Lever to work out who's, who's going with him from the outside mm -hmm. in, especially as they approach the final third. So it's going to be interesting. And... Uh, He's been yeah, lively so they far. They have to pick out the danger. Oh, and almost something coming out of that cross, but not quite. Antonio coming in, not quite connecting. But um, yeah, we, we could just comment and say, you know, number two to number six all the time. They did it boring, so let's not do that. We'll, uh, we'll get that data for you shortly, folks. Man number two down. <laughs> Hopefully he's all right. And he's back to his feet. Nashville swinging the ball. Good little dummy there to get around Dunstan. Dunstan fighting and pushing and, yeah, a little bit too much pushing from the Nashville player too. Yeah, I think I think as they both overran mm -hmm. the ball, Dunstan was first to kind of turn and, and make right. his way back. And Nashville right. player just held him up. Nothing, nothing wild there, but a uh, foul nonetheless. AR put his flag up and got Palopita coming out of his goal to just take a, a long free kick. Simon entering the 13th minute. Anything you're seeing so far? Um, Chattanooga having most of the action when it comes to shots on goal or putting the ball in the box. I haven't seen a lot of pressure from Nashville yet. Um, but Chattanooga getting that early action, trying to get the early goal, which uh, they got on Thursday with Zeka's great strike in the sixth minute. So uh, trying for a repeat of that hasn't happened yet, but uh, that's the way they're playing. They're coming out of the dressing room ready to score. Uh, which is good to yep. get a more entertaining game. But uh, yeah, the early goal can make or break some of these games too. So interesting to see if they, one of these teams can get that and then the game will change. Uh, right now, Nashville's defense is holding pretty good. Uh, not getting a lot of uh, penetration into the CFC defense just yet, but that can change as we both know. All the games you and I have watched here over the last few seasons, Carlos, we know it can change fast. Good ball here down the right-hand side. Kept in by the national well player, played. yeah. Thought that was going to sneak out I for a too. corner kick, but Nashville trying to build again. Good patient play. Haven't got outside themselves. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that a lot of teams will do when they come here to Finley Stadium. Right. Try and be really compact, soak up a lot of pressure in the early stages of the game, uh -huh. and then uh, and then work their way out of their shell and, right. and try to be a little right. bit more dangerous as the game goes on. Good driven ball across the field there. Nashville shapes interesting to me, particular mm -hmm. number 10, Liam, the captain for, for Inter, and, and he's just kind of sitting off of uh, what I think is the back four. I think I think we have uh, three in the back, and, and then okay. him as a defensive midfielder and, and number 20 just kind of roaming in front of him. But it, it's an interesting position. He's seeing a lot of the ball, and uh, it's, it's causing CFC a, a little 10. bit of problem. Yeah, and lots he of did. space, and, but, he, but he's not necessarily getting back into the back four. See, mm -hmm. here he's tucking in and as a midfielder. I so see. yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting position. Maybe it's something they've seen tactically in the film, but uh seems to be working so far. CFC couldn't quite connect there. Mm, that would have been a good little move they made a connection. International settling into a little bit of possession again. Trying to set Lever off there. Didn't quite come off, but a uh, good idea. Let's see what uh, other ways they've got of getting through the national defense. And Collins dictating play again. Mm -hmm. You see him getting it. Good diagonal out here. That's number 20, bringing it down, Daniel Sassano. Tried to be a little oh, bit cute with it, gave out. it away. Didn't quite get it to work. Oh, nice challenge there. Yeah, I didn't see that one, Simon. I was uh, looking down at my right. roster. No, 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 Kieran was a bit puzzled too. The referee yeah. saw something weird up, that's why he's down there. A good he's little interchange here. Get the one two going, doesn't work out. Nashville appealing for a foul, but this time the referee's not buying it. And play continues while the uh, Nashville player takes advantage of his acting lessons from early in the season. Wide on trying to do the dummy. 
Didn't quite come off. Collins, good work here with number 13 on this near side. Keep possession, work it towards the other. That's uh, Luke Wilson on this near side, number 13, doing good work to keep possession. Diagonal into the CFC box, or just the, the top of the 18. Read well by you, half check, headed away. Nashville gets it back in the far side. Looking for a cross. 1v1 work out there, and you can only kick it with one foot at a time and be successful. He tried to kick it with both there, Simon. <laughs> but a new technique, guys. Yeah, he kept possession and all the way back to the center backs for Nashville. Winter, oh, got close to reading oh, that they? one and intercepting it, but couldn't quite get there in time. And this is what we're going to see Winter and Whitehall doing. They're going to pressure the defenders into making a quick pass, maybe making an error. And uh, that's uh, something I learned from the English game where they uh, don't wait for the defenders, they go to them. And they uh, try and pressure it into making a mistake. Nice long ball there. A little too long. All right, Simon, we've got several peop people watching from out of the state. Cool. We have people in Michigan. We have people in Mississippi. We have people in Ohio. And we have people from all over watching, Simon. So uh, if you're watching us on the stream today, thanks for joining. And, uh, yeah, we hope you're having a good time. There we go. Deschmet with it, long ball towards Winter. Oh, good deflection, doesn't quite come off to loop. The bounce gets away from him, but a good chance there. And you saw the inter Nashville defender just flash in front of Winter there, maybe put him off a little bit. I'm not sure he was expecting that one. I thought mm -hmm. the international player was gonna head it away and uh, yeah. just went by him. Settling into a little bit more possession again. Uh, again, I, I like it from Nashville. A lot of teams will come in here and sit back and let CFC dictate play. Offside. So, uh, but like I said, as the, as the time goes by, the team will do more and try more things out. And so as this game goes on, I think Nash will try and come forward further and look for some cracks around the CFC defense, see if they can get through. I think so, Simon Dunson, you have to check. Trading passes here by Water checking in to get it. And Dunstan with it. And just a poor pass there. We've seen that a few times, Carlos. A few uh, sloppy passes in the midfield that have cost us. Yeah, and, and that was a part of what was going on in the game on Thursday as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate to keep bringing that game up, but it was a. Uh, we we should have won the game. We we just we were sloppy. We didn't no, we, we didn't should. finish our chances. And a lot uh, of people said that. Know, yep, and uh, it's it's and it was... it's a little frustrating. But right. you know we're we're here and have been playing well. To be fair, in the game, I, I'd like to see us dictate a little bit more. But Nashville doing a good job with possession, trying to thread that one through. Bywater intercepting and working it. Now Winter with it. Can Sizing the space? defender up. Yes, Good turn. Can. Well done. Can he get there? Well, yes. Oh, just Hit keeping it in. Well done. I think we're going to see a couple touches. Cross. Who's there? Oh, oh no. Cross didn't work out. Antonio going again. Lever. Oh, deflected away. That's a. Didn't quite get the connection there. And you can see Lever coming back from an offside position there. And uh, with the new rule with offside, after the defender intentionally, deliberately played that ball and uh, it just deflected behind him. Mm -hmm. Lever was no longer in an offside position. That's a new change in the law, so right. he took advantage and uh, just couldn't quite get it, but that was a great run by him initially. Yeah. I would have liked to see him take an extra touch and really drive that one across the six-yard box. Instead, tried to find Oliveira. Oh, nice and, uh, touch just there, Couldn't quite get there, yeah, Deschmet. Oh, was it a dangerous area, Good flicked flick. on. Oh, just a little bit behind Antonio. <laughs> Nashville with it, working it around the middle. Collins with it. Trying to set the attacker free, didn't quite come off with a good move. Would have been clear on goal there. Nashville 
Ashwell trying to find that gap, being patient here. Now going for the shot, straight into Peter's arms, and he says, yeah, that was easy, thanks. So, uh, finally getting a shot on goal, but nothing coming out of it. So, uh, Peter clears it long downfield. White hole White working in there. It. Still with, uh, with Winter. Wide to De Schmidt. He's bringing it down the wing. De Schmidt will return the service. Right across oh! the goal. And Winter was just busting it after hitting that ball out to De Schmidt to get across the six yard box. Just fighting for it. And again, CFC looking a bit more dangerous. That was a good ball by De Schmidt right across the six yard box there, Simon. Yep. Leo yeah, Schmidt certainly made the difference to the team coming back this year, and he's uh, certainly some of those crosses are going to start paying off. Dunstan doing well to keep possession here. Peter out to Jake Young. Your house check, Dunstan. All the way back to Jake Young. And that's where I think we just need to be patient, Simon. I think so. Yeah, Antonio had drifted offside. Young needs to recognize the that. The team that keeps possession generally does the best. Yep, yep. Uh, which is one of those routine things you have to work on, keeping possession. And uh, a lot of teams want to go for glory. And part of it's about being patient and just building the, the attack slowly. Nashville trying to get something going here on the wing, but broken up. Whitehall back to De Schmidt. De Schmidt to Whitehall. To Bywater. And that's better from CFC. That is a lot better. A little bit slow, a little bit more possession. Lever to Pearson. Yeah. And all the way back to Peter. Jake Young holding it together in the middle nicely. Yep. Which is what he's good at. So. Dunson will take a little bit of space here. The ball has to move quickly if we're going to keep possession. It does. That's uh, yeah, too long. Again, another wasted, wasted ball. Yeah, all energy you, being spent, no yeah. real result. Yeah, and you see, you see the Nashville defenders happy with that, clapping, cheering each other on, and and they'll sure. just keep the ball in front of them there. Once the ball goes into midfield for CFC, it has to move quickly between those midfielders. Correct. Bywater, Pearson have to get the ball forward into Winter and uh, Whitehall to be successful, and, and we're not quite seeing those links just yet, but. Doing a little better with the possession. Collins with a good ball forward there. Dunstan in. You has to check doing calm. well together. Yeah, Winning the ball back. Pearson with it. Out to Dunstan. That's a good cutting ball, and that, there's the combination we're yeah, looking for through the middle. Who's there? Just too strong. Yeah, and the final product wasn't there from no. Bywater, but that's what we're talking about. Possession, yep. possession, moving the defenders back and forth, but then when you get that opportunity to spring and get forward, doing it quickly right. and combining, right. Right. that was better from the midfielders. Yep. Long ball there from Inter Nashville, just good for Inter. And go all the way back with it to keep possession. Martinez with it. Looking long. Long ball. Yeah, yeah. long and Coming straight. He has checked. Easily cuts that one out. See Pearson trying to set Whitehall off. He's chasing it. He's chasing it down. Keeping ready long. for it, so, yeah. Yeah, the shadow's starting to length a little bit. As the sun goes down, making the, uh, the end that Nashville are defending a little darker, but uh, 
nothing serious to make the lights come on just yet, but uh, starting to see a pretty Chattanooga sunset. It's number 20 with the throw in and getting it back. Serrano making a nice good run down this nice right side. give and go there. And stifled out at the end, but a good little give and go there between the three of them. That was a good move. That's well done by the right back. Serrano, like I said, still getting trying, forward. Still trying to find space to make a shot. But they're taking shots from outside the box, Carlos. They aren't getting close enough to take a shot from inside the 18-yard box. They're starting to be a bit optimistic. Yeah, trying to draw CFC out ah, just a little nice, bit. Nice challenge. Yeah, and there's Antonio breaking forward. Yeah, couldn't get hold of the pass. And no foul given. Play goes on. And Collins with a long ball here. Which goes... We're not sure what he's you mentioned a second ago, mm -hmm. you know, taking the long shots. Right. It's going to make the CFC defenders, the CFC midfielders, you know, aware that they're going to take shots from, sure. you know, longer distances, step out to them quickly, and uh, maybe that leaves some spaces in behind. Uh, not quite sure, but uh, that one's a little bit suspect. That was, <laughs> I don't think you meant to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help him out, trying to, you know, find oh, the, the, the positive the side of it. But, uh, that's a great ball there by Let's Young. Gets there first. I think Lever's going to oh, get there. Oh. The, doesn't get any power on it, and it goes to the keeper. It's a very easy pickup, but again, a good move. That's where the long ball connects. That's what we're looking for, that long ball connection. And uh, that's the end product we're trying to get. Yeah, that was well done by the, it was. the two right-sided players there, Jake Young in defense, and then Lever playing that right wing back, getting all the way forward and keeping it in. That's well done by Pearson and Bywater to keep possession for CFC. Dunstan coming forward with it. Deschmet with the right-footed ball in. Here we go. Are we going to get something out of this? No. Again, it breaks down. That was frustrating a, there. Yeah, you can see Winter a little frustrated, but the defender did well, I think. Challenged in there with the right foot. Got right across and uh, did well to win the ball. Yep. And here's Pearson winning it back nice. in a dangerous position to Winter. Oh. Oh, and he just slashed at it there, Simon. Wow, he, it's not often you see Luke miss a chance like that, not even putting it on frame. I think hey, he just he just snatched at it a little did, bit. Didn't he? Nobody on him, plenty of space. Just, it fell right to his right foot. Oh, I bet he's frustrated with that. I know he's got a few choice words to say at the end of that one when he didn't get to go in the back of the net. That was a really good chance for Chattanooga. Yeah, Simon, we're not allowed to repeat those words on air, so... Nobody can repeat uh, those words. Nope, nope. Let's no. not, let's not go there. Nashville keeping possession after the goal kick here, and, uh, yeah, that was, a little, a, that was a little bit better from CFC. A little scare CFC. for Nashville. Yeah. yeah, a little scare when the attack connects. They're like, whoa, we have got a hole there. Entering the 31st minute here. Nashville holding their own, keeping good possession. Hasn't really been too dangerous so far, but yet. doing a good job of staying compact, keeping in their shell. And uh, CFC still trying to find that tempo, trying to find that mm -hmm. rhythm and find the gaps that can unlock the international defense. But uh, Luke Winter coming close in that Very. last opportunity there. Very but close. Nashville with good possession here. I think we're going to see an offside. Uh, yep. Yeah. This run was just a step too far. And uh, yeah. Offside. CFC getting the ball back in play quick. Bywater keeping it across to you, Haschek, and Dunstan will come forward with it. And good space here for Whitehall. See what he turns and do. faces the defenders, beats one. Nice. Good little layoff to Pearson. Pearson. Back and to back Bywater. to Whitehall. Nice one, two. Across the field. So oh, and Winter there. again with another oh, opportunity oh, on wow. his favored right foot. Great combination play from Whitehall all the way from the middle to the final third whipping it across to his striking partner and just couldn't get on the end of that one. Wow, I bet Luke's frustrated about that one again, just skipping right with his legs and not being able to get a foot in. And that's two opportunities in as many minutes it is. for Winter, and uh, you see him put those on frame, at least make the goalkeeper make saves. Wasn't to be that time. Going to make Nashville defense nervous, though, because Chattanooga's getting in the gaps. Starting like they have a very serious intent of getting a goal. Yeah, there's been... Uh, 
when CFC has been the most successful is, is down this left hand side, whether it's been Deschmet right. or Whitehall in that opportunity, working down this side and, and mm -hmm. whipping the crosses in, being dangerous. I think that's the, the fifth or the sixth one so far, Simon. I'd right. like to see him continue to go at it. If it's been successful, work it until it, it give, produces a goal. But uh, Nashville, good possession here. I would expect Nashville to change their formation a bit yep. because they're obviously having a lot of weakness on this left wing. And you think they'd change the formation around a little bit and put a different defender there or change something because that's where CFC is probing a lot on this left side and try and take care of that. But uh, so far, they're still giving them plenty of space. And Simon, as we mentioned, a special, special guest in the booth today, don't we? We do, we do. First to Smith, breaking forward here, oh, Whitehall with it. Plenty of time. And there's right, another ball the in. Oh, oh, Antonio, got the touch, but no connection. <coughs> Nashville lived again. And that touch just took oh, it out of the way of Antonio and ball. Luke Winter there in, in the back post. And But again, down this left-hand side, a good opportunity for a cross. Strikers and midfielders in the box just couldn't quite get the opportunity yeah, off. Yeah, interesting move, Carlos. Interesting move. Yeah, but as we mentioned, Tom Hossel in the booth, in the flesh. Absolutely. He was a stalwart for, for CFC over the last couple of years, has uh, stepped away from us, and uh, we're, we're going to hear from him for the next couple minutes and, and kind of see what he's been doing and uh, how his time back in Chattanooga has been. Welcome to the, uh, to the show, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be back. I'm enjoying <laughs> the game. It's good. We're doing well. How does it feel to see the game from up here, not uh, being on the field? It's very different, uh, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a great view uh, from up here, and uh, you know, coming back as a fan, um, you know, it's just as special um, as when I'm when I'm playing when I was playing out there. Um, as we go into you know the 35th, 35th minute, 10 minutes left, I think they'll pick it up in this last 10 minutes, and it'll uh, it'll spice up a bit. So <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, spice great to be back, and uh, yeah, yeah, great to be back, and <laughs> thank you for, for having me. It's uh, it's wonderful, oh, wonderful no back. No problem. While you were talking, we had a, a foul from International down in this left-hand corner. CFC played quickly back into possession here. But Tom, talk us through uh, how, how the season's been so far. Tell us what you've been doing, where you've been, and uh, yeah, how's it been being back in Chattanooga? Yeah, it's great being back in Chattanooga. It's my home. Uh, you know, I went to Lee, uh, which is in Cleveland, uh, which is, you know, 40 minutes from here. So this is all I've known of America since I've been out here. But um, you know, this season I'm, I moved to, to Asheville City to see if I'd get some playing time. Um, and it's been good, it's been a good challenge, but not got uh, as much playing time as I'd like, um, which is okay. Um, but it's still been, been a fun experience. Um, so it's been, it's been a hectic summer for me, really. You know, I've been applying for jobs and trying to make sure that I stay in the country for the next few years. So I've been up in Ohio and then went down to Florida. Um, and then Rome, Georgia. So in the last, you know, three weeks, I've been all over the country traveling. So <laughs> I'm sick of the sight of, uh, of cars and, and driving. So it's nice to come back here for a little bit and rest and recover and, you know, to see what's what's going to happen next. Well, so. And we're glad you're back to see what's going on and see that yeah. everything's carrying on as well as last yeah, year. Yeah, and it's it's um, wonderful. You know, the, the fans are absolutely phenomenal. Um, the best fan base, you know, that I've that I've ever seen really and you know they're so consistent and they support through thick and thin and it's just it's wonderful especially at this level uh, of soccer you know in England you won't get this this many people at, at, a, at a game at this level in England so it's just it's incredible to see soccer grow and develop and you know it's going to continue to keep going and I think Chattanooga have been a you know a huge success not just uh, on the field but uh, off the field as well with the support we have it's Wonderful, it's great. I Good. love this club, I really do. So Great, well we do yeah. too, and it, it's like home to us, and when the season's over, mm. we're like, oh, what are we gonna do now? Yeah. So there's a big hole it fills, and we just, yeah, we just love it too. What yeah. a ball there by Bob oh, Water. And the great touch, to be fair, as well. Good shot! Oh! Lost, and you can see what he was trying there, just the, to lift it over the goalkeeper. Right over the bar, mm. lift to the foot over the bar. Wow, wow. what a chance. And not, started I've not really ever played with three at the back at a consistent level, but, I think the main thing for Paolo is, you know, to communicate. Um, it's it's the biggest thing about goalkeeping. You know, you communicate well. It, it's it's ninety percent of the job. 
Um, so, you know, and even making sure that he gets a hold of those midfield players, so keeping a hold of Bywater, and I'm not sure, and Leo, and who else is in there? Yeah, Pearson, 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 number 19, yeah, first okay. year player who's yeah. right, right, really right. come along and yeah. done well in there. He's a yeah. Brit too. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's great. He's a Chelsea uh, fan, but don't hold it against him. Oh, that's a shame. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think, I think Paolo in a game like this, especially, you know, with the way it's going, it's nil-nil, it's a very important time of the game. Game management is important for a goalkeeper, especially in the last five minutes, you know. You know whether he wants to keep the ball for a little bit at the back so they can relieve a bit of pressure and get compact again and get the formation right or does he want to speed it up and try and go for a goal in the last five minutes so you know he's just got to communicate have good starting positions make sure he's on the front foot so that if that ball does come through uh, he's there to intercept it and uh, you know Nashville are coming at him right now so got to mark those runners <coughs> he's, nice ball. he's offside, offside. Yeah. Referee's flag yeah. was quick there. Act not only that, but then stays together and, exactly. and even. They can't be at different levels. You know, giving the attackers the room to, to slide in there. Like exactly. You, said, a good you line know, there. with the three at the back, you've, you've got to be very, very careful about guys not getting too far apart. Yep. Because obviously yep. that creates the space for those runs. So, you know, it's it's an interesting an interesting formation. Um, so, but it's, it's it seems to be working. You know, we've not conceded too many goals this year. I think it's two. I was speaking to the coach the other night, and he said we only conceded two in open play. So that's a good stat to have and that shows that the, the keepers that we have are doing their job and you know not just them but the whole team are doing their job you know and uh, the transition It's going to be a corner oh. kick when he sees the ball go in the back of the net Good here ball in here He's on it. Oh, oh, Winter gosh. and you has check just getting each other's <laughs> way You see him talking there I'm not sure who would win that battle in the end, uh, a high five, but you know Winter wants that ball oh, at the yeah. six. Absolutely, yeah. goal, scorer is, uh, goal scorer is territory right there. Yeah. We're starting to create create more chances, um, which is obviously which is wonderful, that's what we need. <laughs> I think that was Deschmet with the, the left foot that you were talking about earlier, whipping that one across. Bywater with the long again. ball. Trying to set those boys running. Yep, good. Bywater was I mean, there, Luke is there, trying to get that bounce. Come on, Luke. Outnumbered, trying oh, to cross darn. it out for a corner. Forced, forced down, down, down below, um, I'm, I was sat right near the chat hooligans and it's loud. Oh, oh, oh no. not far away at oh, all. The roof of the net. And there's uh, Whitehall again getting an opportunity. Just yeah. They are knocking on the door, Carlos. Yeah, didn't sink in there, just <laughs> floated over the bar. But, um, no, it looked good from down there. You know, you can hear them, they're all communicating, which is good. Kieran, especially, Kieran's such a top player's vision, the way mm -hmm. he passes that ball and he's. It's kind of like a uh, Chabi Alonso type player where he'll, you know, get on the ball, receive it, and he'll look up and he can pick any single pass out. Which that's is that's a great ball there as yeah. well from Nashville. Can they use it? Can they do something with it? And can Jordan Dunstan, Dunstan doing magic there. again? Nice he's one. He's hard as nails. He is. It's Pearson with a lot of time and space finding oh, Whitehall. Good run by he's Antonio here. Go See if he can get it on the left foot. Go Go on. On. A strike. Oh. oh. Trying to get it onto his favorite left foot, he just lashed it over the bar in the end. Pressure's a lot, he lots of pressure on his goal. He just wanted to take his time, relax, make sure his team can get compact and get forward. I think we had a foul there, played quickly by Nashville. Leo's got to check his shoulder and get round. See this about the having the three at the back, those wide wingers, yep. Leo and who's the one on the far side? What's his name? Yeah, Jake Lever. You know they've got they've got a hard job. Those guys, you know, getting up and down that wing. Uh, yep. You've got to be very very fit. And they do. Well, I, got, I would struggle. Well, I would yeah, last five I agree. They run there. an awful lot, and we've got Jake Young from last year. I know you know Jake, yep. and he's really marshal in defence. Oh, great Jake, deal. Jake is, uh, you know, like Jordan, just big and tough. And yeah. Proper English. He's a no-nonsense defender. No, he, he reminds me of Tony Adams. Uh, right. He's oh 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 great save. Oh, oh man, the goal from Nashville. Yeah, just bobbled there. Made a good initial save. Came back into a poor area, and the Nashville attacker just stuck it in the back of the net. Not quite sure who that was. Oh. And that's right before the half as well. Minute. If you're going to score yeah. a goal in a game like this, that's that was the time to do it. That is the time. You go in the dressing room, half one goal up. Yeah. Great psychological advantage there. Absolutely. And I think, you know, people will be critical of Paolo there, but the header was very, very close to him. And I think to get anything on that in the first place is, yep. a, you mm -hmm. know, in my opinion, it's a good save. And he looks a little bit disappointed with that. And I think he will sure. be, but 
you know, if you're going to be critical about, it, maybe get it out to a to a wider area. But still, I I, thought, I, I even said it. I thought it was a, a great save. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's what if we're going to be, you know, looking at other guys, you know, our defenders have got to expect our, our our goalkeeper to save that, and they've got to try and expect rebounds. Um, but now it's now it's a reaction. Now coach will be looking for how how we respond, and you know, I guess the team talk's going to going to change now at half yeah. time. So. But that's the thing about Chattanooga, you know, we never mm -hmm. give up. And there's been so many games when, you know, I've played in the past and, you know, we've gone in in this type of result, the half, and in the second half, within the first few minutes, we've got a goal back. So I would not be surprised if if we come out that second half and, and really go at them. Because um, now we've got nothing to lose. Now we, we can go all guns blazing. Um, I think all right, so Tommy, what does the coach say to you at half time? Tell us a secret. What does he say to you at half time that we don't know? Talking about coach? <laughs> yeah, what does he say to you? Uh, it's, well, can't you repeat it on the air? Uh, yeah. No, well, it's probably a bit different from from last year. Um, but coaches are, co you know, he's very calm. He doesn't he doesn't panic in, in situations, and that's what. So you don't really get the hair important. dryer? No, not no. I've never no. I've never really seen coach go. Okay. You know, go go off a bit. But he's very calm. You know, you see him just sat down. He'll be thinking about it, and he'll, you know, he 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 will come up with a with a solution. Um, so. He'll be very, very calm and collected and composed. And I think when you know when your head coach doesn't worry, you know you, you don't need to worry either. So and he's he's very very experienced and you know I, I think we'll be fine. On game night, winning is everything. But life's big wins happen off the field. When you win a heart. When you win their trust. When you win their respect. First Bank's community banking is perfect for life's big wins because of what we're big on. You. Make us part of your team for life's biggest wins. Take it for a spin. Really? Hold on. Hey, this is Cam. This is Brian Beamett. This is Caleb from Chattanooga Football Club. Reminding you to get your flex tickets. Get your flex tickets. Come get your flex tickets from cfctix.com. A surprise goal we didn't expect, but um, Paolo Peter helped stop the first save and then they bounced away right to the feet of the attack from Nash. He had no choice but to put it in the net. So Chattanooga on the back foot a little bit today. Kind of surprising, so hoping they'll uh, come out the dressing room ready to go. Fired up. So here we go, second half underway at beautiful Finley Stadium. It's a gorgeous evening for soccer. And uh, sun's going down, it's just a great view of the mountains and a great view of the soccer field tonight. Stay with us to the end, it's going to be a good game. There's some more goals to come, right Carlos? Yeah, hopefully so, Simon, and uh, hopefully there's CFC goals, right? Well, okay. obviously, that goes without saying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Chattanooga now attacking uh, to your right on the screen in the dark strip. And uh, I'm sure Coach had a word with them in the dressing room and uh, encouraged them to come out fighting. Um, I was talking to Tommy House at half time. We were saying that he's not at all surprised if they come out and get a goal quickly. So we had a little bet on that. So uh, if if uh, 
Tommy's right and I'm wrong, he's buying all the beers, or one way to run, something like that, the other way around maybe. <laughs> but hopefully uh, Chattanooga will come out fighting and get that first goal and get us back in the game. Uh, Danny White with a long throw to Luke Winter, can he have it on? It's there, oh, and Winter was just a step away from touching that into the net. So the Nashville keeper reading that one very well, he was quick out and grabbed the ball. But, uh, Chattanooga not sitting back, coming out ready to uh, get the goal back and get themselves back in the game. And I think Nash will know that, they're trying to be a bit more cautious with the ball. That uh, the defence of midfield for Chattanooga going into the ball, not sitting back, not waiting. Paolo Peter putting it back into play. On the far side to Leo de Schmidt, he's coming down the wing, looking up. Trying to get it threaded through. We'll see now if, if uh, Nash will sit on the lead or if they uh, come out and try and consolidate and get an extra goal. Uh, it's one of those situations where is it better to sit back or is it better to keep going? Chal Hooligan's in great voice tonight, encouraging the team on. You can probably hear in the microphone there, uh, driving the team on like the 12th man. Ball all the way back to Peter out to Jake Young. As we were mentioning, Simon, lots of good work from the Chattahooligans in that first half, spurring the team on. John's been a, a playmaker this season, no doubt about that. Ball deep in the box, keeper holds it, gets a knock, but uh, nothing serious. So that, uh, that corner kick not leading to anything this time, but uh, at least it wasn't uh, hoofed through the box like the last couple we see, which is good, so... Uh, have to get working on those corner kicks and make something out of them. Nashville coming forward. Again, taking the time. Trying to build something up. But outnumbered by Chattanooga midfield is a nice tackle there. There's John Carey in action straight away, Carlos. And Dunstan getting to it, working it out wide. That's to Schmidt with it now. Long nice ball long. into Antonio. Antonio still keeping possession. He's so quick. Look at him. There you go. Nice touch on. Oh, Carrier not able to get the last touch on the ball. Back to Jake Young. To Whitehall. Deep into the box, but the keeper's there and uh, gathers it up. And just taking his time. I think we're going to see a lot of that mm -hmm. in this half from Nashville, sure. especially while they keep the lead. Just gobbling up those extra seconds. Taking the, the sting out of the game, especially when CFC has had lots of pressure. And... Long ball from the goalkeeper, headed straight up there by Schmidt, and as it came down, he was able to win it again. Now Nashville going for the attack, trying to thread something through, and breaks down and back to the keeper, so uh, nothing doing there. I think that may actually be John Finley, his second substitution out on that left side and in the number 18. Right side, he has check and Dunstan inside. And then, um, as we mentioned, uh, Reynolds out on the left side. Now yeah, try and get it across. Forced out by the Chattanooga defence for a throw deep in Chattanooga's half. Going to go for a long one? No, nope, not a long one. Again, national defence. Sorry, the Chattanooga defence is uh, trying to stifle Cross the to, uh, to so Whitehall. So. But like I said, I think just a tactical shift, and, and he's the one to make way. Way deep, right through the box, and uh, nothing coming out of that at all. You has check doing well, keeping international player out wide, and I think we see the ball going out of play there. CFC throwing. I think Coach Bull is resting some of the players, as we've mentioned before, Carlos. Five games in uh, ten days is a lot for the players. It's a big ask, so I think he's resting the players as much as anything else. That's so why we haven't seen Matt Aldred out there tonight. Um, some of the other players are Sindri Whaler, who normally play every game, uh, just to conserve energy, really. And there's Carrier, maybe not quite having his touch as he just stepped in at halftime, uncharacteristically, knocking the ball out of bounds there. Oh, nice and steal. And recovers nicely, getting that steal and breaking forward with speed. 
Feeding Antonio. Antonio. For Antonio. Oh, yeah. Antonio gets the ball. Back, back to carrier. carrier. Back to Antonio. And offside. Oh, no. Called an offside. That yeah. good move. You know what? It's difficult to say because these guys have played really, really well. Um, the defenders have played well all season. I'm not quite sure that that's the problem. Um, and I, I think it's it's in that final third. Even mm -hmm. the midfielders have played well. You know, Winter's been coming back from injury. It's taken Whitehall a little bit of time to, to get acclimated and, and get his feet off the ground. And, you know, to be fair, he's hit the word work a couple times, missed a penalty, and, and then he had that ball bounce in that, that didn't count. So, he's you know, we're getting opportunities throughout the season but uncharacteristically not putting them away so I, I think it's unfair to to kind of question the back line so far this season it's it's just not coming off for us in, in the attacking third Simon. I think you're right Carl, it's like John Finley is getting ready to come on talking to the fourth official so uh, goalkeeper get, again taking his time. Trying to get John Finley onto the field and uh, referee's not uh, Acknowledging the signal. That was a handball, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Number three putting his hand up for no real reason. So, still trying to get that substitution done, but the referee's looking away. Yeah, as you mentioned, that was on number three, Felix Obilo, who uh, tried to bring it down with the shoulder, but it just kept running on him and, and got a little bit too far on his hand. I, don't know, I think there's been several players for Nashville who have been dangerous. You know, we, we mm -hmm. talked about Collins, right. number 10, who's wearing the armband today, who is, is kind of fading in and out of the game, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I see him a little bit higher than he started originally. And uh, a couple other players for Nashville, but they're, they're doing well just keeping possession, they especially are. after yeah. that goal, trying to gobble up all these extra minutes and extra seconds. And, uh, and, and as we see here, just being patient, moving the ball around, keeping CFC running, but giving away there, Carrier nice with it. Ball. Carrier just... Overwhelm with too many people. <laughs> gets a second chance, he gets knocked over. Yeah, it's, I think that's just to get a little bit more attacking play down this right side. And right. You, know, you can see he's frustrated with, with Coach, and Coach just, just talking to him a little bit through it. And, and again, I think that's a, another situation where, where tactically we're just you know moving into a different system and, and doing things a tad bit different and uh you can see I mean, you know, all the players want to play they, they don't want well, to sit on right. the side they want to have some Nobody control over what's going on but uh yeah. i think just with the tactical changes to schmidt and, nice and young getting touch. the worst it's of it yeah good, move. good work on here across the box yes. oh, oh, the and i think it had that fallen to anybody else that might have been a goal finley straight away from his substitution got his feet kind of tangled up there went with his left foot Thing. Just open up your body, back, son. Open it up. Defense. Use your right foot and just tuck that one away. Uh, anybody else on the uh, field, I think maybe straight, that one goes in. Sorry, but but it, it, it's, it's, it's such a good opportunity. you got to finish that. All right, you do. You do. Nashville working. And Finley doing well to get his body between the end line. Back the defense. Welcome to the game. Absolutely. championships you, you got to score that. those yeah. and uh and it just gives cons confidence and uh and i think on the, oh. the opposite end it, it's just frustrating you know the, and the frustration grows rather than the confidence and here you have nashville with numbers yeah, breaking forward trying to break forward i'm marked on the far side somebody's gonna get that guy in the box who's there oh right through the box another dangerous opportunity for inter there I think it's just a little bit behind the striker, as you said there, Simon. Finley was a good it, ball down, down the line. line. Oh, and a foul by Antonio. Foul. Pushing the back. You may see the first card of the game. No. At least to talking to, that's number 13 for Inter. I don't see how there could have been anything but a foul there. I'm not sure what else they're seeing. Whitehall with it after a good flick. Oh, and and last ditch defending keeps him from getting that one on frame. Still in play, but goes out. It was a really good flick by Antonio Whitehall with a good touch to find a little bit of space, but good defending in the end from Inter there. Yeah. So we got a corner to Chattanooga in the uh, near side under the hooligans. See if uh, the pressure can can carry on. And uh, Chattanooga can make something out of this corner. So uh, everybody's up in the in the heart in the uh, national like everybody's in the national box for this one. So the whole of 22 men straight to the keeper. It bounces. It's free. On a back heel. Back and it's in. in. Luke Winter with the back 
heel, just doing the natural thing there, just instincts, ball bounced around for a couple seconds, and then just finding a way to get it in the back of the net. And that's what Chattanooga Football Club needed today is that equalizer, as you mentioned, Simon. And that's the man, Luke Winter. He's going to find a way to put the ball in the back of the net any way he can. End up pretty being pretty fancy. Uh, it was very fancy in the back heel. So the 58th minute, a goal from Luke Winter with his back heel. He'll score him any way he can. Do forwards, backwards, we don't care. It's a goal, one all to Chattanooga against uh, International. Now we've got a game on, folks. We've got half an hour to play. It's going to get very exciting. Nashville trying to come forward, playing a long ball, but too long in the goalkeeper's arms. And Whitehall chasing this one down. Whitehall the ball going there. for the second goal. And cool Straight defending. The keeper. Oh, and the oh, keeper the right off ball Whitehall. Ball still loose. Somebody's taking a shot. Antonio trying to come through, get a shot in. Look, put it right. Can't hold Carrier. it. Carrier. Carrier at its turn. How many shots? I think we're going to see more and more of it. This four in the back, four midfielders, much more pressure and uh, getting people into the box. Hopefully that's going to tell them they're going to find the go-ahead goal. But uh, good save by the goalkeeper. Excellent, keeper. yeah. So many chances there. What, two, three all at once, Carlos? Amazing. So, uh, yeah, Chattanooga are not settling down now. They are coming out all guns firing. Yeah, some more goals in this one, folks. And I, I, I tend to agree. We got people on Twitter saying that once once the goals get scored, I think the mm -hmm. floodgates are going to open. Right. And, and I kind of agree with that. And, and Simon, yep. we yep. mentioned that we thought the, the game and, and the moment for that was against Birmingham away. We scored those two goals. Right. Winter scored. Kieran had that just laser mm -hmm. of a goal. And we thought that was the moment and just couldn't. Couldn't quite convert against New Orleans. We see Kieran with a great ball to Finley here. Deep ball, very good. Ball Defended very in. well. But uh, well, yeah, we th we thought that was the moment. Maybe the game, but didn't quite happen for us. And, and more Carrier. of the same today. But hopefully that good. goal can can keep it going. And uh, oh, I'm just uncharacteristic from Bywater there. Here there yeah. and here's and Collins coming to break. But Chattanooga getting a lot of players back in defence, and that one goes out for a goal kick. You know, challenging the ball, can't quite keep it in there. So it's a Nashville throw under. And Gary Lynn Riley's uh, high chair, whatever they call it. And, uh, <laughs> his high chair, Simon. <laughs> and, his uh, uh, his stand or whatever there it is. You go. <laughs> uh, but uh, Nashville trying to break. Oh, yeah, breaking trying to get here. another goal. But uh, they're outnumbered by the Chattanooga defense. And, uh, Dunstan doing so well there to five just on keep three, it in front so of him. Nashville has to slow it down a bit. You can hear the fans driving them on. Nashville still trying to come through. Nice ball. Oh, good little ball in there. Mm. And Paolo Pita did well to read Came that up. one, be yeah. on the front foot. Him sliding out to his left. Came collected the ball. That's how you should do it. Chanu coming down the ring, deflected out, still fighting for it. They were right to put him on, Carlos. He's definitely the playmaker and he's making a difference here. Finley with a couple good touches. He has, Working yeah. Hard. It's always good when John's on the team. Is that Whipped ball in. deep in there? And headed over the bar. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, well, uh, I guess I'll be with you guys uh, next weekend. My name's Lucas Panzica. I go to UT. I'll be a senior this fall, journalism, electronic media major with the folks in sports broadcasting. And I guess I just I reached out to you guys, kind of wanted to help out because my deep passion for soccer. And I love what you guys do here and helping grow soccer, not only East Tennessee, but really the whole Southeast. And I mean, this is incredible. I got here, wasn't I was across the street at the First Tennessee Pavilion, not for 60 seconds when someone came up, recognized my jersey, and we started talking about AC Milan and their transfer market this summer. So, so this is great. I love it. Can't wait to get started. 
Yeah, we're, we're oh, excited oh, to oh, see oh. you and I think that, oh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's going to be Whitehall, yeah, that's and, be and red straight away. I don't think that's questionable. I'm not sure I'm not sure what Coach Bill Elliott is, is saying there, but it, it, it that wasn't, I don't think it was malicious, but it was a, a no question, a kick straight yeah. to the thigh from Whitehall. And uh, I, I kind of agree with the referee, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, you Simon can, straight red. That at this point, so uh, we have some good strong midfielders, but... Uh, no striker on sub list. Oh, I'm sure John Carrier would fancy himself well, I'm a, sure, a good attacking option. He will do. I'm, I'm to not too concerned there. about that because our midfielders step up to the game when they have to. But uh, that's it. That's changed the game again. So let's see what happens next. Yeah, and I think you can see immediately Winter getting really, really high in between the center backs and Antonio and Carrier just sitting in behind, completing you know what will be that a midfield you know four or five. Um, and then uh, and then Winter just right. in front of them trying to beat off scraps and well, make it difficult for the defenders. On the positive side, on this side of the field, on the right, John Finley always runs yep. up and down the entire wing, not just the back, so he will probably carry on doing that and just keep on running while he's still fresh too. And he'll probably Actual keep turning the ball. He should be fine, but we'll see what Coach Bill has told the team to do. Yeah, we can expect a lot of possession. Good ball in there by Nashville, read by Jordan Dunson, who came forward and cleared that one. So, Lucas, tell us a little bit uh, about your program and kind of, kind of what got you into uh, kind of media and broadcasting and what you hope to do with it. And, and yeah, tell us a little bit about well, your story. Well, it's kind of known, been something I've always wanted to do since I was about in eighth grade. I'm a first generation American. My dad from Italy, my mom's from Brazil. So soccer was just something that was instilled yeah, in me. You could never had that. much you of a choice. That, yeah. Never had much of a down. choice, but I'm not <laughs> complaining. Uh, it's definitely my biggest passion, uh, of course, and then I love I cover football and basketball, but soccer has really been what I've truly loved ever since I was a kid. Uh, and I realized at a pretty early, pretty early age, I was a lot better at talking about it than playing it. So, so I guess that's where I am now. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just grateful to you guys for giving the opportunity to come help you guys out. Yeah, no problem. We'd love to have people in the booth. You know, as we mentioned, we've had uh, Tommy Salsa earlier today, and then we had a guest from uh, the, uh, the Soccer Journey, I think it's called, um, mm -hmm. who's going around the country and, and yeah. just experiencing soccer different The different Soccer countries. Tour. Yeah, Stephen, the Soccer Tour. Stephen Berlusconi yeah. from yeah. the Soccer Tour yeah. was here. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was here. And Steve is still here tonight. Yeah, he's, he's actually he's here in the stadium today. Yeah, but he hasn't uh, been in the booth as... But he's been uh, here like watching the game yeah. because he had such a good time on Thursday. Yeah. He wanted to come back. So. He canceled some of his plans or rearranged some of his plans. There you go. To be so with us. So that's pretty cool. stuff. What, uh, what do you think of the environment so far? we got Antonio breaking through here. and uh, or I'm sorry, that's Pearson with it at his feet, number 19, Bywater. Yeah, Lucas, what do you think about the experience so far with the Chattahooligans and uh, here at Finley City? Uh, well, it was like I said, you know, just walking into the first Tennessee Pavilion. Like I said, 30 seconds in, somebody was already coming up to me offering me fried chicken and starting up a conversation about soccer just based on the jersey I was wearing. So definitely wasn't expecting that much of an immediate reaction. I mean, I was I was impressed, man. This is this is crazy that what, what Chattanooga is doing for soccer, not only in East Tennessee, but this whole region. I, I mean, it's like what Tom said earlier. I don't think you could see this kind of crowd at this level of soccer anywhere around the world, uh, much less <laughs> Southeast America. So, so yeah, it's really unbelievable. I think it's something that you got to see. I've had friends that live in Chattanooga that have told me about it for a long time. So, so I'm glad to finally be here. I live in Birmingham. Birmingham, of course, just started uh, with the Birmingham Hammers standard so for, for NPSL teams in terms of fans and, and broadcasting, really. Uh, and of course, this the use of this beautiful stadium, you know, college College football stadium is is definitely something not to take for granted. Absolutely, that's one of the the things that, that CFC can pride themselves on is, is just a great game day environment. The Chattahooligans, Fort Finley, it's all a it's all a package deal, and, and we want to make sure we we thank the the staff here at Finley and, and everyone who works uh, on the board and and gives us the opportunity to be here. You know, there's there's several other places in town, you know, that, that we could go play, but nowhere better than Finley. Sorry, there's nowhere better than here. And we're very lucky that uh, with the new turf put in a couple of years ago, we can uh, flip, flip it over and hide the gridiron and have a soccer field where you can see clearly where the soccer lines are. So many places we play at, we have to try and find the, the uh, soccer lines. But for some reason, the gridirons are white and the soccer lines are in like light blue, and you're like, I really can't see that. So here we're very, very lucky that it's clear. It looks like a soccer stadium now. In a couple of months, like a football stadium again. So it's really great. And so yeah, we're very grateful we're here. And it's just the perfect place to play soccer and entertain people. 
Um, so yeah, that's what's great about it. And you yeah. know, it makes you wish that that the U.S. Uh, in soccer in the U.S. kind of would catch up with the rest of the world in terms of relegation and promotion. Because Chattanooga, it looks like you know, has oh, all these resources. Oh, there we go. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Oh, so I had there to bring it up. Yeah, he knew he was going to say it. I know. Come on, man. First man. Controversy. You gotta, you gotta save that for later. Like, but no, I agree with you. And you know, it's, it's definitely a, a topic of conversation. But yeah, continue with. Yeah, well, he just Chattanooga has these resources. The season, you know, it's an undefeated season, not the undefeated season you want to have with yeah. all the draws, but the season's not over. But, you know, they have all these resources that Chattanooga has a successful season that I certainly think they could compete in the USL, maybe the NASL. Uh, so, you know, it's just something to think about. Yeah, definitely the <laughs> definitely the most controversial topic in American soccer right now. Yeah, and, uh, it, and, and it hasn't been for, for a lack of interest. I think the, the CF, excuse me, the CFC board and, you know, kind of the, the people who run the club have, have kind of settled here in the MPSL and, and are really, really happy with the way it's been run. But, you know, you never know what's what's going to happen in the future. I know there has been some un interest from, right. from outside parties to, to kind of see CFC move up the ranks. But it, right. it hasn't hasn't quite ever materialized, and, and it's right, not yeah. something on the cards for now. But yeah, yeah. Nashville doing Man. well, and Jordan Dunstan wow. doing really well. I think he's going to have to do their best to absorb a lot of pressure and pick and choose their the opportunities. Box. Not sure Pushed who away, that's going to come corner. off of. Yeah, yeah. wait for a second corner by the defenders. But yeah, Nashville are not sitting back either. Now they've got that one man advantage. Yeah. Yep. They're yeah. really going to try pushing. And I think you're going to see Collins with a much more free roll going forward. Yeah, in the last 15 minutes of the game now, one apiece, and it's uh, it's going to be flat out, I think, to the finish, Carlos. It's going to be a sprint, not a marathon. Yeah, I think so, Simon. CFC is going to have to find opportunities to slow it down to be their advantage. Well, and to attack. Yeah, yeah. Slowing down is not going to work now. They're going to have to push on if they can. But it's true. Another tie is going to make it... Uh, like Father's Day, over and over again, Carlos. <laughs> you know, and we're like, not again. <laughs> so. Oh, you're really good. Chuck, you like all of there is coming on. Who's coming out? Yep, yeah, see Winter. Luke Winter's coming out. Is he coming to talk to the bench? Hang on. Yeah, no? I think it's Pearson who's going to step out. off. That's an attacking substitution, it Simon. Is. It is. Oliveira, definitely an attacking player of forward. And uh, Pearson's actually a holding midfielder. So I think you're going to see Bywater go back into that holding midfield role. I think you're going to see Carrier playing in that attacking role. And uh, I think we're going to have two strikers up front. So Coach Bill Elliott recognizing the situation, needing yeah, the goals. You have to go and, for it. Uh, I think we got, go for it. I think he's going to operate here on this right-hand side. You see yep. him and Luke going over towards the left side and uh, having a little chat there with, uh, with Oliveira. Or I'm sorry, with uh, with uh, Antonio on the left side. Sorry, I got got those two confused for a second. But uh, again, another tactical shift from, right, uh, from right. CFC. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, trying to respond to the change in the game, and uh, soccer never sits still. There's always something going on like this, and uh, they're going to start. Well, finish the game with a different squad than what they started, and that's you know. After the red card, instead of just reinforcing the defense, going going for the win oh, anyway. Oh, good long throw. Yep. I agree, Lucas. And Simon, I think we're having a, the conversation with mm -hmm. with the fourth official here. Um, right. Looks like they were having some problem with, with some substitutions for Inter Nashville. And uh, it may have been a, a situation where they're looking at that mystery number two that we were talking about earlier in the uh -huh. game and, and wondering uh, who that was because I don't see him on my official roster. And uh, right. that may be a problem or something that, that CFC is going to look to exploit. But a great run. run. Oh, oh and what an opportunity for Winter. Great run by, I believe that was Reynolds from his was. left back. Luke had done so well to find himself a little bit of space there at the yep. edge of the box, edge of the six yard box, get his shot away. Just a good save by the goalkeeper. And we well, mentioned it early, Simon. Mm -hmm. You know, the, these guys come in here and have the games of their life against Chattanooga Football Club. And, and to be fair, they deserve it. And they come yeah, in yeah. here and, and, you know, hold up shop like New Orleans did. And the goalkeeper plays great. And they, they feed off scraps and, and get a goal. It's it's kind of the way you got to do away from home. Well, you do. And you see that in, in the other big leagues. You, you, yeah, you see do. that in the Bundesliga. You, do. you see that you in do. the EPL. Right. And uh, it, it's just the nature of the game. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, lots going on. Lots to play for tonight. It's... Uh, very exciting right now. So fresh legs for Nashville. See if they can make something out of that. Chattanooga will come all the way back. Back to Bywash in the middle. You has check. 
Stubbing He's forward. coming deep too. Try and get that touch on. Hazcheck gets it back. Antonio with it. He's dropped way back. Yeah. He has dropped way back instead of being a forward, so they obviously had a big tactical shift. Daniel Reynolds on that left side. I know he wishes he had that back. Just couldn't quite get his touch right. All the way back to Pita. Cleared straight out of bounds. Lucas, what do you think? Uh, what do you think CFC needs to do to to kind of get forward and put some pressure on? And what could Nashville do to, to sustain some pressure with the main advantage nice and, uh, and and working on a, on the CFC defenders a little bit? Well, and with Chattanooga, obviously the red card sets him back a little bit, and I think Nashville definitely has exploited that. Side through. So Nashville through. Like a, but push to the side of the defense and so the but I mean with Chattanooga I think just finishing man it's just yep. there's just those three or four chances the one by Finley there in front of the goal just, you just have to finish that I think it just comes down to that I think they've been doing enough to, to create chances up top and mm -hmm. really it's just about putting it in the back of the net for them right right so we got a Nashville corner Let's see if they can make something out of this lots of people forward into the box they have this is everybody forward it goes deep head right. out though Collins with it at the top of the box. And Antonio did well there to stay in front. Didn't yeah, go for the He's been very versatile this game. I'm impressed. Ball driven in. Dunstan with a header away. And I think he just got a little bit of a push in the back there as he was heading it. Referee spotted it. And, uh, I think uh, I think you mentioned it earlier, Lucas. The game has been pretty calm. Not mm -hmm. not really uh, many rash challenges. Not uh, not much going on other than you yeah. know the the Whitehall challenge. It was very here. strange. There was no build up to that. Yeah, it no, just happened. No, nothing, and nothing at all. I don't think the referee's been spot on. No, nothing too much here. Great ball into yeah. Oliveira's feet. Reynolds Across. was a good ball in. Hey, just didn't out. quite beat that first defender. Yeah, whenever you see those malicious kicks like that, or it's, you know, two players have been going at it the whole game, but that's just not the case here. I don't think right. I've ever seen anything like that. Good long switch here. Well, we're, in great last, left we're in the ball. last 10 minutes of regulation time, folks, so uh, not long to go. Both teams are going to be pushing for a goal, I'm pretty sure, guys. Um, obviously, they're not sitting back and just defending, so... Do not take your eyes off the screen, even for a second. Collins working in midfield. Good diagonal nice ball. ball. Can I keep it in? No, he could not. And uh, we got some people in the stream saying that Antonio has played well so he far really today. I, I think he has, and yeah. he's been a bright spot when he's played so far this season. So he has. He's been a real, real addition to the team. He's been a real success, so we're glad he's there. But uh, I think they're risking him for the next game now. Coach Bill is trying to think ahead, of course, for you know the next game coming up on uh, on Tuesday. And Coach Elliott's still trying to add some fresh legs up top. He, he wants to win this game. Yep, He's, of course. Uh, the the defenders do do well. We don't often sub them. We we saw Jake Young come off and he was frustrated. Oh yeah, now, he didn't want to come off. But uh, yeah, usually we get a lot of rotation with the attacking players. And like you said, Lucas, making sure that that we're not just sitting back. Hopefully, get up there and, and nick a goal, but right. not giving away anything in the back. And uh, it looks like Perez has come out to this right-hand side, and uh, Oliveira has gone out to the left and right oh, as I mentioned him. Good challenge. Gets in there and breaks it up. Good ball over the top, trying to find him again. Gets up fast Just and keeps going. Back to the there. keeper, who hoops it away. Firewater gets hold of it. Still quite in control here. There we go. And well done yeah, by Danny Nash Reynolds there. Back. Yeah. He was looking for a tug there from the referee. Didn't get anything. Good ball by Nashville. Very nice. Trying to turn inside the player. Nash checks there. Clears it. I think Dunstan had just been caught a little bit outside. So. The ball just slipped in there between the center backs. You have to check in Dunstan. But uh, you can see him flip-flop. As they Swan went out they with the player, that. Dunstan just right. flipped in behind they him. They do. They change and position all the time. Yep, and there was no problems there. Good. Good little combination, but didn't quite yeah. come off for, for Nashville there at the top of the box. Defense for CFC has been very organized today. That one goal is just an unlucky rebound coming off the hands of the goalkeeper. But overall, I think this has been a fantastic defensive performance. Mm -hmm. 
and, and that's something consistent, Lucas. You know, we've played really well in the back most of the year, and then these ladies. Maybe that's back on us, even the luck goes a different direction. And you know, that's going to happen. That's when the offense has to help out and yep. finish some of those chances to yeah, exactly take the right. pressure off. Yeah. To be fair, they, they've yeah, had they the opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. And Oliveira just nicked in there. Carrier oh, going in for it. Trying to get something going for Chattanooga. Finley playing it deep and long, but the defense are reading those pretty well. Yeah, trying to find Perez over the top, as you mentioned there, Simon. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see him have an impact here in the final 10 minutes or so. You know, maybe you know, seven minutes, a little bit of stoppage time, hopefully close to 10 minutes. But uh, for the moment, Nashville trying to find the spaces to get that go-ahead goal. Right. They're a man advantage. Uh, hoping to get a goal advantage. Well, let's hope not, but you never know. Patient work. Trying to find that gap. A little flick. Trying to get a little closer in to shoot. They aren't getting close enough to take the shot, so they're having to build. Yeah, it did well there to hold the ball up and not give it away. Just being patient, Nashville, making CFC run. Mm -hmm. And the Chattahoo Hooligans are going to do their best to make sure all their energy transfers onto the field. They're going to battle for 90 minutes, just like the players on the field. David Perez working hard defensively. And you know, the mm -hmm. attendance here tonight, but Simon's right. official guess is about 3,200. What do you got, Carlos? I, I don't know. I think I think that's about right tonight. Simon, 3,200, 3,300, and uh, they've been lively so far. Very. Hopefully this last five or six minutes they can get Chattanooga Football Club riled up and uh, moving forward, but I think Inter's going to try and keep a lot of possession. I think so, too. And if they can hit a goal, they're very happy. Yeah. Uh, Good so combination far, play there. The Chattanooga defense is up to the job, but... We've, uh, we've always seen things happen in the last minutes of games, so let's see what we got in this one. Never ever count it till it's over. And Dunstan again there. Luke Witness hanging up by the centre line, trying to get a break on. If they can get one ball to him, he'll just take off like a rocket. And he's just uh, trying to get that service he needs to take off and score a goal. And he's coming back deep, trying to retrieve the ball himself. Good work by Inter here, keeping possession, long periods, making Chattanooga work. Chattanooga getting possession back. John Nick. Carrier, deep ball, then Perez, Perez after it. Let's see what David's got. And these are the David looking up, for Perez. deep in the box. Oh, oh, that's a nice ball. ball. Good read. Oliveira keeping it in, working 1v1 in the box. Both players went down there. Still with Chattanooga, trying to get deep in the box. And straight to the keeper. Reynolds with a good opportunity to yeah. whip one in with pace. Just too close to the goalkeeper there, Simon. The keeper's reading the ball as well, Carlos. i got to say he's putting himself in the right position. So uh, I hate to say it, but he's having a good game and he is controlling that ball very well. One more substitution for Chattanooga coming up. Number four waiting to come on. Gareth Bale. No wait, Matt Aldridge. <laughs> he that does have the, Gareth have the Bale haircut. haircut. That's right. Hashtag did well to step in there, break that one up. Good ball by Dunstan finding Oliveira. Can he combine with Winter? Finds him. Now yeah, see what you're building up here in Out the last couple of minutes. Ball into the box. Flick Flicked on. on. Oh, oh that should be a corner right kick. Right behind Luke Winter. Yeah, the referee. Last couple minutes. I think so. All right, all good to go. Try and take the center forward position. Try and be a nuisance in the box. I think he is. Kick. In swinging, here it comes. Near post. CFC players crashing in there. Cleared Not cleared. Nash will make a mess of it. Aldridge gets hold of it. Oh, oh and another great pass there. And you see what Perez was trying to do. Yeah, I do. Olivar, and he, he did fights well back defensively to get fights back in there. Fights back for it. Good play. Not Nash sure if that's going to be a foul or a throw from Perez there. Nash will play back. Last minute of regulation, Carlos. Back to Pita. Dunstan with it. Reynolds now. Chattanooga trying to push up as those seconds tick away. This 
interesting stuff here, Simon. I, I thought you might oh, see. Oh, that is a foul. Yeah, I thought you might see Carrier step up. Card here. Yeah, I think, I think so. First yellow card of the game in the 90th minute. 90th minute, yeah. That was a tactical foul there. Yep. A bit cynical. David Perez was on his way, and uh, he was brought down by the, uh, the national player. I believe that was number six there, Simon. I think so. Referee, has he got the card out? Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he, he pulled it out. Yep. Pulled it out. But not sure if he's actually going to have a word, just wave the card and go on. But yeah, that's purely a tactical foul. Yeah, and that's Brian Perez. Or, uh, okay, or on David Perez. Perez. There you go. Not related. Yeah, David Perez <laughs> fouling Brian. Er, yeah, Brian, Brian Perez David Perez. Into the box. Into the box. Nashville again up to the job of clearing it. Trying to get it away. Oh, not a foul. foul. That's Carrier. a dangerous place. Dangerous position. I wonder who's going to take this one. International players need to be careful here. Getting close to the referee. Oh, no, 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 no. And a second caution in as many minutes. And starting to lose a little bit, the Nashville players. And CFC is going to take their time. Simon, who do you see stepping up over this one? I'm saying we have Bywater, we have Kerry, we have I'd David Perez. I'd say Jake Young, but he's not on the field. So it looks like maybe Kieran Bywater. Um, but yeah, it could be anybody. We could see that, that three-way kick like last time, and they all step over it and just take it short. So a lot of tension here. Regulation time's gone. Don't know how much extra time we're going to play, but there should be a couple of minutes on top. Referee's got the time on the field, so we will try and find out how much extra time we're going to play. Not long, though, I'm sure. Everybody's off the bench waving from both sides. <laughs> you see David Perez and John Finley coming out to this right-hand side, giving an alleyway where Finley, it looks like, or I'm sorry, Danny Reynolds with the left foot is stepping over it. Kieran Bywater has his right foot there. And it's going to be Reynolds. Saving goals, wow. Simon. You know, believe that. So, so many years at the top of the NPSL Southeast, that was in jeopardy this year. You hear what it means to the Chattahooligans. You hear what it means to us in the booth. Wow. What a strike, Simon. Wow. Two one, amazing in extra time. What a cracking goal from Danny Reynolds there, from 32 yards. Yep. Wow. Distance. Right past the keeper, gave him no chance at all. Two one. Nashville will not come back from that. Looks like Chattanooga are going to get their first home win. Well deserved. Unbelievable excitement in the stands. The crowd is going absolutely ballistic. Yeah, Simon, you can, you can almost feel the you. tension. Wow. Just relieved. Well, there's tension in the, in the box, oh, Carlos. Man. You and I are both oh, like man. shaking, man. We're shaking here. But it, it, was, it was a good distance for him. It, it was, was a good distance. distance. You know, sometimes when it's a little bit too close to the 18, it's yep. hard to get it up and down over the right, wall. Right, right. That extra extra time, that extra yep. distance for him that was just to get right. it over the wall. And I think Matt Aldred, who had gone up front of, uh, initially, has slid back in there by Kieran Bywater yeah. playing his natural defensive midfield role. And uh, he's just going to look to sweep up in there. Nashville are going to regret that, given that foul away. They're really going to regret that. You see the referee making his way over yeah. to Peter. Make sure he's not wasting too much time there. But he's going to take as much well, he's time as possible. waste a little yeah. bit, you know. I think we're going to see do. him put it on the ground here. The referee's yep. waving him on the play. And driven forward as far away from the goal as he can. David Perez trying to challenge for it. Enter throw in here on the left hand side. Mm. Collins trying to get it forward. Down 10 men makes it that much sweeter. They didn't oh, stop yeah. pushing yeah, after the red card. That's right. Yeah, I think you mentioned it several times, Lucas. They kept putting attacking players on the field, trying to go forward, trying to get the three points. And I think that uh, Danny Reynolds, the defender, yep. who came in at halftime with that left foot, has secured those three points. That's right. Yeah, maybe a, another minute or so of extra time, maybe a little bit more. But CFC has been pretty good defensively. Probably see this one out. But you I never know what can so. happen. Well, that's you right. Can, you can see in the blink of an never eye at one say. moment. Never say it's done. Never say it's done. But National really have to come forward and play out of their socks to try and get a goal back and Chattanooga keep pushing the ball back in the Nationals half. Chattanooga continuing to fight for the ball. 
And I think that's it. The referee has blown the whistle. Okay. No, 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 Simon. No, no. It's, it's just a free kick. No, he was, yeah. he was pointing. Don't, get, don't get so excited, Simon. I know, I know we're excited <laughs> for the win, but don't hit that button just He's yet. Pointing at the center just circle. Just yet. And there's the official okay, whistle. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't too far afterwards. Chattanooga Football Club with on the their Chattanooga. first NPSL win of the wow. season. Comes in front of the Chattahoola again. Looks like Andrew Breezy's taking his shirt off oh, my on the kickoff. Don't look, don't look don't over look, there. Don't look, Everyone, do not look over there unless you want to see the excitement from the Hooligans. It was a good game. Fabulous. You know, a little bit rash from Whitehall there at midfield. Got him the red card, but in the end, that see game, the result. That game had it all, Carlos. Drama, goals, a last minute victory. Wow. That's what we want to see at Finley Stadium. Those kind of games, lots of drama, and an amazing win for Chattanooga SC at home. Their first really great home win of the season. We're so glad. Oh.